the foot placement that's re required for the backside 180 kickflip is, remember, you're going to do a backside 180 and a kickflip together. So the foot placement is going to be dependent on the backside motion. So what you're going to do is set your toe up a little bit to the left, a little bit further back than you normally kickflip at. The reason for doing this is that after you flip the board, it's going to travel all the way around 90 and catch it. So you want to compensate for the movement. A lot of people set up differently for this trick. It's going to depend on how high you want to try to pop the trick or how slow you're trying to flip the board. So if you're trying to flip the board slowly, you're going to want more foot on the board. If you're having trouble learning it at first, you may want to put less toe on there so it flips quicker so you don't have to jump as high and you can get the feeling for it. So at first, you're set with your toe pointed forward and your back foot ready to do the backside and the ollie part. The front foot is going to be about here and the reason that is is after you start to flip and travel around, it makes it so that it ends up on top of the board. Another thing to remember when you're doing this trick, as far as placement is concerned, is remembering that your upper body is in control of turning you backside 180. Your upper body has about half the duty in this trick. And what you have to do is, in the foot position like this, is twist the upper body so that by the time you're done, you're already halfway across and ready to be catching the board at 90 degree angle and landing it and ready to roll away.